When the OnePlus 7 Pro was launched with its 90 hertz refresh rate, there was some confusion about the difference between a refresh rate and a frame rate. And I have a whole video about that here on the Gary Explains channel. However, to put this debate finally to rest, today I'm going to test the OnePlus 7 Pro running at 60 hertz compared to the OnePlus 7 Pro running at 90 hertz. So let the testing begin. Okay, we have the OnePlus 7 Pro running in Full HD Plus at 60 hertz on the left-hand side, and also the OnePlus 7 Pro running in Full HD Plus with 90 hertz on the right-hand side. Now, if what I'm saying about the difference between refresh rate and frame rate is true, then this should be the most boring test that we've ever seen here on the uh, Speed Test G test run. And look at this, neck and neck as they go into the Bloom test. So this so far is seeming to be absolutely as I have predicted that they are both going to go through this. And there we go, neck and neck into the SQL light test, and both of them running that SQL light test pretty quickly there, all the way down, there we go, and into the 3D cube test. So both devices neck and neck as we go through this. So remember, refresh rate is about how fast electronically the display is updated, whereas frame rate is how quickly the CPU and the GPU can generate the frames. And if there's not a frame available, the refresh rate will just mean it puts the same frame up there again as we go now into the 16 thread test. Again, this should have no effect on the overall uh, speed of the refresh rate. And there we go, into to the unity test so this is going to be the hardest test for both of these devices and really this should stay neck and neck as we go through now to the end of this test now let's see what happens we oh Oh, look at that. Look at that. The, the 60 hertz version has taken the lead. It turned quicker there. It's already down into the valley. There is a, now a slight lead ahead over the 90 hertz version. It's up into the sky. It's coming down now to the castle. And now the other one is coming down to the castle as well. And it's now the 60 hertz has gone into the compression test. This is a completely unexpected result. And the 90 hertz version is now also into the compression test. What's going to happen? What's going to be the final time? There we go. 1 minute and 32 seconds for the 60 hertz version. And 1 minute 33.7 for the 90 hertz version. Well, we have to break down these scores and see what happened. So clearly there, the 60 hertz version won with a time of 1 minute and 32.7 seconds, and then 1.7 seconds later came in the 90 hertz version, 1 minute 33.7. Now if you look at the CPU times, almost exactly the same, 26.9 versus 26.8. And again, a similar story when we get into the mixed results, 38.6 compared to 38.3. So a very minor lead there by the 90 hertz version. But when we get into the GPU test, absolutely amazing, 26.5 by the 60 hertz version compared to 28.5 for the 90 hertz version. So it looks there as if the 60 hertz version was able to complete that 3D gaming test faster. Well, who would have thought of that? Okay, my name is Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be lots and lots of comments about that in the uh, comment section below. Well, there you go. That's what we'll have to see what people say about this. Please, if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And um, well, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.